Welcome back, everybody. We've got another Heroes of Storm patch. As always, if you're uh, if you're having a good time here on Twitch, be sure to follow. If you're going to watch this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe. We can grow the YouTube page. But we got a patch notes review, so let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, so this is PTR patch. So PTR patch for April 16th, which is today, correct? Correct. Today is the 16th. Today is the 16th. All right, so quick navigation. We've got ARAM, balance update, hero updates, and bug fixes. For ARAM, uh, Varian is now classified as a tank. Okay. Uh, same hero mode. Artanis is added. Hogger's been added. Leoric's been added. Leoric will still uh, is still disabled in normal mode. White main is added. Zarya has been added. Nova's been added, and Probius has been. Oh no no! Nova's been removed, and Probius has been removed. Reddit, sing praises of joy. You'll never have to play the hour-long Probius matchup, even though that was technically not really full of humans because everyone, like, quit out. So, I, the same hero mode, I have no problem with it. I don't, like, people literally have a visceral reaction the moment they see it. They're like, I don't like having fun. Uh, so, yeah. All Leoric is going to be wild. All Leoric will be wild. All Zarya would be actually is, is gonna be a good time. All Hogger, can you imagine how many bounces? Alright, well, uh if you if you don't like the the all hero mode, be sure to leave a comment on YouTube and complain about it. Tell us why you hate it. Give us a justified reason outside of I saw a Reddit post and not, you know, that's the reason. <laughs> Balance updates. Uh Arthas. Base regeneration increased from 5.957 to 6.375. That's a pretty substantial buff on that regeneration per second. Uh, maximum health increased from 2,860 to 2,980. Uh, death coil healing increased from 262 to 285. And we'll see frozen tempest mana cost per second reduced from 13 to 11. Okay, so overall buff for Arthas. On his base, uh, talent at level 13, biting cold, uh, damage now inc uh, damage increase is now additive. Uh, what was it beforehand? Oh. Man, I just lost my I just lost my rank game. Where are where are heroes? It's like I it's like I know this game completely. Arth Arthas uh, town. Biting cold. Each second enemy hero is damaged by Frozen Tempest deals 12.5% uh, bonus damage up to 50% bonus. So does it... Is there no cap? Or some... What? Damage boost... Damage increase is now additive. Someone has to explain that one to me. I, I don't get what that actual change is. Uh, level 16... Death's Embrace now grants additive bonus to Death Coil's damage. Additive bonuses to Death Coil's damage. Death Coil deals... Right? Embrace Death? Embrace Death. Uh, death Coil deals more damage and heals more the lower Arthas' current health is to maximum 100% bonus damage and healing. Okay. Hogger! Uh, base. Rage Decay Rate increase... Oh. Arthas, stop. No. Hogger rage decay rate increased from 10 per second to 13 per second. Okay, so nerf on Hogger on that base. Uh, level 1 on the Prowl. Activating on the Prowl now prevents uh, Hogger, or prevents rage decay instantly. Cooldown increased from 40 to 45 seconds. And healing reduced from 8 to 7. Level 4 Brute Force, bonus damage when enemy hero hits ter or excuse me, yeah, Brute Force, bonus damage when enemy heroes hit terrain reduced from 8 to 6, so we're, we're getting, we're getting a, just, this is just a hogger nerf. Dust Devil duration increased uh, from 3 to 4 seconds, sub 50 rage armor increased, okay, so a buff on, on a Dust Devil, which is not really used too often at level 13, uh, I think Pummel is often the level 13, oh, no, hogger. Yeah, Dust Devil's not off. It's usually Pummel. Hitting enemy heroes with Hogwilder slowed 10% for two seconds, uh, stacking up to five times. Heroes hit, have their spell power reduced by 50. So yeah, Dust Devil, I mean, I see Dust Devil from time to time, but Pummel seems to be the main priority. 
And uh, this pummel actually getting a nerf here. Spell power redu uh, reduction reduced from 50 to 30. So a buff on uh, Devil's Do, but overall... Hogger, please. We're trying to read patch notes, dude. So a uh, nerf on a bunch of things for Hogger, but a small buff on Dust Devil, which is uh, less pick talent. Junkrat! Oh my god, we're getting Junkrat changes? What year is it? Pummel getting a bit- yeah, that- that spell- that spell power reduction, that actually is- that's a pretty big deal, I would agree. Absolutely. Uh, Junkrat! Junkrat, Junkrat, Junkrat. Base, uh, Steel Trap E. Cooldown increased from 12 to 15 seconds. Uh, extra wound timer. Bonus damage reduced! Okay. Nerf on one of the most popular level 1 talents are Junkrat. Dirty Trickster level 7. Cooldown increased from 12 to 20 seconds? No! No! Why? Oh, no. Dirty Trickster. But it's... it's Oh, my God. That's... That's a... The 8 seconds is a big nerf. It's not the end of the world, but I mean, just... Just... Yeah. Wow. I'm uh, quite... Quite surprised that they're actually going to change that to 8 seconds increase. Rhaegar, oh boy. Uh, Rhaegar, let's see what we got. Basic attack, so base, basic attack. Damage reduced by five, so 115 to 110. Ghost wolf basic attack bonus decreased from 75 to 60%. That's pretty substantial. Mana restored per enemy here, oh, excuse me, lightning shield, base. Mana restored per enemy here reduced from two to one. Whoa. Who hates Rhaegar? Who's hating Rhaegar here? Stormcaller W maximum stacks reduced from 300 to 200. Now the big question, of course, now the big question, of course, is going to be, uh, do 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 do. Is that going to change? Is that going to change? Uh, like the stackage amount, or is it? Is it going to be? Is it going to? Uh, I'm not phrasing this right. Like will it be? It, will it be three hundred? Will it be two hundred stacks to get the same value as the three hundred before, or is it just going to be two hundred stacks and the overall value is reduced by a hundred? I'm assuming the gains now will cap out at two hundred. Yeah, that's kind of how it seems no, to me. We could be fighting right now. No, Rhaegar, we're reading patch notes right now. We're reading about how you got nerfed to oblivion, apparently. Uh, level 7, Blood and Thunder. Mana restore, restoration reduced from 5% of max mana to 4% of max mana. Grounded Totem. Attack speed slow reduction uh, reduced from 25 to 15%. Woof. Uh, Earth Grasp Totem will have its damage reduced from 115 to 90. Was Earth Grasp Totem really dealing... Did it really need a nerf on its damage? I... I mean... Earth Grass Totem, I don't think we're all picking it for the damage. I mean, the damage is nice. I, I actually have... I've, there's a clip of me sniping a kill, uh, kill with that. Back when Rhaegar got a bunch of changes when we actually had active development, I think. But, um... Yeah. Alright. Well... We'll see how that works out. Yorel is getting changes! Yorel is getting changes. When you uh, give a hero the nerf hammer, you go all in. Mm, that's, that's, that's fair. Uh, level 1 for Yorel. Uh, Marad's light passive. Healing increased from 140 to six, 160. No change on Dauntless. Okay. Aegis of Light at level 4. Bonus armor increased from 30 to 50. Duration increased from 4 to 6 seconds. That's a pretty big buff on, a level, on that level 4. Uh, Remember the lessons of the past. Uh, nearby allied hero. So yeah, this yeah, that, I was making sure that I had that right talent in my head. So that's huge. That's humongous. I mean, I know hand of freedom is is hand of freedom. Don't get me wrong, but fifty per fifty fifty. You're out. God dang it. Fifty armor. For six seconds? Spell and physical? That's pretty good. Like, I know Hand of Freedom. I understand Hand of Freedom is Hand of Freedom. It's amazing, etc. But that's... That's pretty wildly strong. I... Anyways, 
Uh, Sacred Ground. Uh, let's see. Cooldown reduced from 40 to 25 seconds and mana cost is removed. That's such a buff. 50 are until she leaves the area. Until she leaves the area. Now, the only thing I don't know, uh, does anyone know this? Is it an active cooldown? Meaning the moment you use the heroic, the cooldown starts. It's a fairly sizable circle, I would agree. I would say that, it, 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 off the top of my head, if you were to stand right by one of the posts uh, on Infernal Shrines, you'd probably have most, if not all, that shrine. Aren't we now getting the 50 armor at level 4, though? Well, so, so the level 4 is for allies. The level 4 is for allies. Upon landing, Avenging Wrath grants other nearby ally heroes... 30 armor for 4 seconds. That's going to get buffed to 50 armor for 6 seconds for your allies. And the level 10 is for self. Is uh, sacrifice the ground around her, gaining 50 armor until she leaves the area. So that's the only thing is I don't know. Like, because because flare has an active cooldown. The moment you throw the flare out, and I know I know we're comparing a hero heroic to a level one, but uh, flare like I, I I'm very curious about that. I'll have to go and check that out after uh, we go through this. Level 1 for your L, Dauntless is 35, but it's physical armor. That's physical armor, not not 35 armor. Unless I'm, I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure it's physical. Remember yeah, 35 physical past. armor, so. But still, still, that's insane. This is, that like, that's huge. That's pretty huge as well. Uh, Templar's Verdict, this is a very, very popular talent. It's the charge on that hammer getting the armor reduction. Armor reduction reduced from 20 to 15. Percent damage reduced from 7 to 6. Oh, that's, I, I think that's okay. That doesn't feel like a crazy, crazy nerf. Um, that feels, that feels well balanced. Because that Templar's Verdict is a huge level 16. So I think this is, this is a nice sort of, this is a nice little dial turn. Whereas, um, this, this feels like we're cranking things up to 11. All right, uh, all right, hero updates uh, for Alarak. Level one added, uh, so Ruthless Momentum Passive added a health threshold indicator. Okay. Deadly Charge added cast and channel bars. Okay. So these are visual things. Uh, so this is this is probably like, you know, Alex Straza has that gift of life. I'm blanking on the, the talent, but it's the one where she's over 75% of her HP or whatever. Uh, I think it's probably got like an indicator like that on on the health bar now, which actually would be kind of nice for 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 casting if that's the case. Uh, on a quick cast settings, rapid reload shares quick cast settings with healing dart removed. Cancel I have Horus for Anduin level one light well active. Added a button indicator for rem remaining activations. Okay. Oh, I see. So there's like a little there's like a there's a there's a way to visually know how many more ticks of light well you have available. Uh, added a duration indicator for renew. Artanis level four, sealed shield shur surge, uh, added a buff bar, or added to the buff bar. Trade is now highlighted when below 25% HP, or when below 25%. Final cut passive, conditional part of the ability has been added to the buff bar, okay. Uh, Arthas, quick cast settings, remove sacrificial, uh, sacrifice ghoul, uh, added buff bar for icy talons on the Arthas, Ariel baseline, quick cast settings, remove self cast resurrect, wait, wait, you can't self cast resur- wait, what? So would you have to R on yourself? You can't just shift it in? Same thing with a ghoul. That's actually a little confusing. Well, if you know the answer in YouTube, be sure to leave a comment below explaining to me how you're correct. <laughs> also, be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube page if you're watching over on YouTube so we can grow the channel.
Hi, YouTube. It's just from QuickCast settings. I just the, the verbiage on this is confusing to me. I, I don't understand, like, I, I'm not understanding. I'm not really understanding exactly how this is, how this is, what is being removed here. Keep scrolling way down. All right, well, we'll get there. Blaze, quick cast setting, added bunker of, added the bunker abilities. Uh, level one adrenaline simpack added a health threshold indicator for chromie. Quick cast settings, remove cancel slowing sands, remove detonate time trap. Uh, level 14, Quantum Overdrive added, Duration Indicator, Blessing of the Brawn, Duration Indicator, Death Wing. Level 4, Heat Way added to Buff Bar, Deckard, remove the Cancel Stay While and Listen. The Hawker, remove Cancel Burrow. Diva Quick Cast Settings, Mech Attack now shares Quick Cast Settings with all other Attack Quick Cast Settings. Remove Cancel Defense Matrix, Retarget Defense Matrix now inherits Quick Cast Settings from Defense Matrix. Okay. A lot of these remove, uh, I think a lot of these remove quick cast settings is just tidying up and ultimately not doing anything. Oh, okay. I, I see the word removed and I start panicking. <laughs> uh, ETC removed Rockstar, added indicator for guitar solo, Gull for level seven, Ogre Rampage added to buff bar. Garrosh, remove double up, remove season soldier from quick cast settings. Ghoul Dan, remove uh, duplicate life tap and cancel drain life from quick cast. Hanzo, fleet of foot added to buff bar. Let's see, Hogger, quick cast settings, remove cancel abilities. Do -do -do -do. Johanna, Fury added to buff bar. So it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of. Remove detonate mine, remove rip tire abilities. Uh, do 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 added pulsing red blue indicator for grenades empowered by extra wound timers. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Pulsing blue red indicator to grenades empowered. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, range indicator for full damage. Oh, that's actually really cool. Added a range indicator for full damage. So, because I think it doesn't ex doesn't isn't there more damage closer to the ex the explosion than the 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 edge. Uh, Li Ming's Disintegrate can now be canceled by pressing stop or hold fire. I feel like that's going to throw some people off at first. Lucio now shares quick cast settings with all other attack quick cast settings for his base. Lunara, Hippity Hop will now show the buff bar while active. Level 7 Splinter Spear added to buff bar, Wild Vigor buff bar. Endless Spores now causes Nature's Crippling Spores button to pulse. When activating, it would grant, uh, excuse me. Now causes the Crippling Spores button to pulse when activating it would grant reduce cooldown. Am I reading wrong or what? Would grant, I, okay, I'm confused. Oh, to plus. Pulse, pulse, plus. <laughs> So many vision. I, I I feel like uh, this patch is gonna rip apart our spectator add-ons. I feel like this patch is gonna rip apart the game. Is the uh? We'll see if the PTR is available right now. Uh, now causes next explosion to glow and cool down as recharging faster. Added to buff bar, invigorating spores. Starward spear added to buff bar as well. Melganus seeker swarm added range indicator. Oh, uh, that's pretty nice actually for that level twenty upgrade. Isra's gift added a health indicator. Okay, that's that's actually really convenient because like that's another talent for that's a talent for Malfury, and it's like when above seventy five percent HP, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, added a buff bar, lunar shower, Medivh added remaining duration. Uh, added remaining duration to button. I think I understand that, but it, it, it's a little weird wording on that. Uh, third one added health uh, threshold indicator. That's actually pretty convenient. Remove, cancel March of the Murlocs. You can never cancel March of the Murlocs. You always, you're just always marching. Uh, Fisheye at a range indicator once the respawn egg has been placed. Uh, a lot of convenience in, the, in some of those. Orphea, Lurking Terror added an activation timer for the level 16. Kira, talents are now sorted in tier order on the buff bar. Blood Rage W added UI indicator for Blood Rage's heal value. That's going to be convenient. That's actually really nice and convenient right there. Chainsaw added to the buff bar. The Hunted added to the buff bar. Ragnaros. 
Base quick cast settings, Molten Core, Sophia Smash, now shares quick cast settings with Ragnar, Sophia Smash. Uh, Submerge added a healing preview. That's very convenient. Samuro. Woo, 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 woo. That's a lot of things. Uh, added sound indicator to Dance of Death. Uh, remove the cancel button for Blade Storm. Remove duplicate uh, critical strike. Image transition transmission trait. Disable while there's no mirror images active. Now removes targeting uh, when there is only one mirror image. Now removes targeting when one of mirror. Okay. Uh, added guide indicators for their targeting for mirror image. Uh, wind walk added healing over time preview. Deflection level four updated to display its, its remaining duration while active. Uh, and level 16 added to buff bar press the attack. Stitches Shambling Horror added duration indicator. Stukov, quick cast settings, remove cancel lurking arm. Reactive Ballista Spores added a health indicator. For the Butcher, quick cast setting, remove fresh meat. Butcher Brand W added duration indicator for the button. And level 16 added health indicator for Enrage. A lot of convenience. Honestly, a lot of convenience in this patch when it comes to the health indicator stuff. There's, there's That's really, really nice to see. Uh, the Lost Viking, slowing charge Olaf cooldown now displays a circular indicator around his shield. That's really cool because I've always wondered, oh, does, does, does the charge just, like, when is Olaf charge off cooldown? Because I don't think we've, I think there's, like, a way to, uh, outside of cooldown counting, I think that's the only way to know. Uh, or at least, I mean, doing it yourself. Tracer, base, quick cast settings, attack now shares quick cast settings with other quick cast settings, remove lock and loaded, run and gun while overkill is active, shares quick cast settings with... Run and gun. Isn't run and gun a Tychus talent? And overkill? I think this is meant for Tychus or something. Close enough. <laughs> Woman with gun, man with gun. Same, same. They they all wear they all wear thongs. Wait, not thongs. They all wear speedos. <laughs> They both were Speedos, so, I mean, same, same. Taronda, level 16, <laughs> archery added a duration indicator. Uther, level 4, holy fire, passive added buff bar. Beacon of light added health threshold indicator. For Valera, base quick cast settings remove cancel vanish. Talent level 10, smoke bomb button now has a duration indicator. Varian, level 7, second wind passive added health threshold indicator. Oh, that's actually pretty nice, too. White main, remove ca uh, quick cast settings, remove cancel inquisition. Zeal trait now has a duration indicator while active. Zool level 13 rapid harvest uh, added to buff bar. Zara tool base remove seeker in the dark quick cast setting. Level 4 psionic strength added a stack count on the buff bar. For Zool Jin, base a quick cast setting, remove duplicate, cancel berserker, removed duplicate re regeneration. Level 1, Reckless, uh, added health threshold indicators. That's actually nice. That's a really nice one for Zul'jin. And bug fixes. Bug fixes. Added XP value to death recap. Fixed an issue that caused location targeted abilities to be canceled by conveyor belts. Fixed an issue that caused talent text to be uh, truncated on hero selection screens. Talent quests update to display quest progress at, at the caster if trick. Wait. Talent quests updating to display quest progress at the caster if the triggering enemy is out of vision. Updated home screen and startup music. Okay, so we have a different splash screen. Updated time stop to display above all other effects on the health plate. Fixed display issue with some block talents. Fixed an issue that caused heroes with non standard height. Uh, to cause target facing effects to face the incorrect location. Blackheart's Bay, updated coin warning indicator to be correctly colored. Cursed Hollow, fix an issue that caused Cursed Hollow to call for help ability to war uh, warn to display incorrectly. Warhead Junction sewers are now clickable while they are in fog of war. Warheads now interact with physical objects, or physics objects. And level 10 Abathur, Ultimate Evolution, no longer pay, uh, plays quest progress visual effects. Okay, I think I understand. Violet, uh, Violet Mutation no longer displays an empty icon in the death recap. Telekinesis for Alarak, fixed an issue that caused telekinesis to not interact with map objects. 
Alex Straza, level 10, Cleansing Flame. Fix an issue that caused Cleansing Flame to cast the at the incorrect location. For Anduin, can once again hold his sword high and proud. Well, Anduin players rejoice. The game is now playable again. Anubrak fixed an issue where the AI was not using Locust Swarm. <laughs> Why would you? Uh, fixed an issue that caused Anubrak's abilities not to interact with mapped objects. Burrow Charge E improved the visibility of the erupt location indicator. Cocoon fixed an issue that caused Cocoon to not properly hide things attached to the target. For Artanis, fixed an issue that caused some of Artanis' abilities to not interact with map objects. Fixed an issue that caused... Our, uh, excuse me. Wait. Fixed an issue that caused Arthas' abilities to not interact with mapped objects. Close enough! Phase Prism E fixed an issue that caused Phase Prism to not properly detect structures uh, Detect structures after the target becomes time-stopped. For Ariel Detainment Strike, Terrain Impact will now always display as a crit. Level 7 Empathic Link fixed an issue that caused Empathic Link to grant hope when, at, when an ally deals damage to themselves. Level 13 Piercing Last Fiction Issue that caused Piercing Lash to not hit multiple heroes with Detainment Strike. Asmodan. Oh, no. Uh, fixed an issue that caused Asmodan's abilities not to in interact with map and physical objects. Fixed an issue that caused Demon Wars to leave permanent burning visuals if killed at the moment they spawn. Uh, Wrath Level 1 is, uh, fixed an issue that caused Wrath to increase damage of Wrath's marker. Bombardment level 7 fixed an issue that caused Bombardment to increase the damage of Wrath's marker. Hey Totski, good morning bud, what's up? There you go. Uh, Brightwing level 4, unstable anomaly, fixed an issue that caused unstable anomaly to leave behind a permanent visual. Level 10 Emerald Wind, fixed an issue that caused Emerald Wind to not interact with, other, with map objects. Invisible Friends no longer displays an empty icon in the death recap. For Cassia, fix an issue that caused Surge of Lights not to destroy map objects. Instant Mount is now more responsive for the level 13 War Traveler. Wandering Keg, uh, fix an issue that, for Chen, fix an issue that caused Wandering Keg to cease targeting the mouse cursor if another Chen's Wandering Keg expires. Weird, okay. Mirror matchup stuff. Will now actively target mouse cursor instead of targeting the mouse cursor only when its position is changed. Storm Earth and Fire, dam Earth's damage is now physical. Okay. So probably spell, er uh, physical, and spell. Show Gaul fixed, uh, fixed Gaul's damage, not gaining all benefits from show buffs. Level 4 Rising Dread no longer causes the third bounce of Dread Orb to display as a crit. Double Trouble level 7, fix an issue that caused Double Trouble's quest completion to not stack with Twilight Frenzy. Fix an issue that caused Gaul to lose the benefits of Double Trouble's completion after Twilight Frenzy expires. For Chromie Bronze Talons, uh, we, it's a PTR patch, PTR patch. Chromie level 7, Bronze Talons, fix an issue that caused Bronze uh, Talons to visual to persist after Chromie's death. Level 11 here and there. No longer dismounts or decloaks when used. Okay. Uh, Quantum Overdrive level 16. Fixed an issue that caused Quantum Overdrive visuals to persist after death. For Deathwing, fixed an issue that caused Deathwing to be a valid ping target in the party frame while Dragonflight is active. Fixed an issue that caused Deathwing to enter an invalid state if the target has... If, if the target of his landing becomes invalid. Interesting. Level 7 Death Drop. Uh, fix an issue that caused Death Drop to not reduce the f uh, all forms of spell armor. For Decker Kane, fix an issue that allowed Decker Kane to dance without incurring movement restriction. Why would you fix that? Ancient Blessings fixed an issue that caused Ancient Blessings to not heal the attacker uh, to not heal the attacker when dealing damage to enemy heroes that are immune to friendly abilities. More Nados fixed an issue that caused cooldown reduction to prevent it from uh, Lornado's hits. Uh, when Lornado hits a non-hero. Diablo Shadow Charge. Terrain Impact will now always display as a crit. Fire Stomp now combines damage text. Uh, Diva. Fix an issue that caused some of Diva's abilities to not interact with map physical uh, physics objects. Self-destruct. Uh, fix an issue that caused Diva's mech to continue moving if it was rooted when self-destruct was cast. That's a very unique interaction. Fix an issue that caused the self-destruct to not feature a pulse animation when fully charged. 
starts decaying a, uh, in damage after four range. Is there a range indicator then? Big shot, fix an issue that caused big shot to hit invalid and vulnerable enemies. A bait of armor now includes damage dealt to diva shields. Uh, there's just a blank spot on my screen. This is super weird. Garrosh into the fray, fix an issue that caused into the fray to display as Loktar Ogar in the quick cast menu. Uh, level 7 out Loktar Ogar now displays as an active upgrade instead of a passive. Genji Swift Strike, adjust a color display for Swift Strike, uh, refund timer on the button, fix an issue that caused Swift Strike's mono refund to display, to be displayed for the killed enemy player. Uh, strike at the heart, fix an issue that caused Genji stri Strike at the heart text. What, I mean, what issues were there with this? There were no, there were no issues with this level. There's no issues. There's no, what, I mean, what, what do you mean? That is, that is, yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I get, uh, yeah. Uh, level 13 wave Shimada only causes Genji attacks to display his crit plus 10 attacks. Final cut, fix an issue that caused final cuts damage to not be modified by any damage modifiers. Ghoul Dan, Dan oh my god, there's so many of these. Uh, Ghoul Dan, chaotic energy, fix an issue that caused chaotic energy to not increase the healing of regeneration globes by current uh, correct value in ARAM. Genji's gonna murder you all in a uh, quarter million years or so. <laughs> Just about quarter million years. No, no big deal. Uh, do -do -do -do. No longer dismounts or decloaks school Dan for the activation of level 13 level uh, on the Hearthstone. Hearthstone, excuse me. Level 16, Ruin of Affliction, third strike damage now displays as a crit. Anzo, fix an issue that caused weapons to fire multiple times when used in conjunction with select abilities. Now combines damage text for scatter. Giant Slayer, bonus damage from scatter arrows now combines damage text. Okay. Uh, Hogger Rage has been added to the Rage has been added to the hero page. Oh, probably you can look Hogger up by typing Rage, I'm assuming. Staggering Below Q fixed an issue that caused Staggering Below to not interact with map objects. Easy Throw Dynamite will always display as a crit and hit on the uh, on the direct hit damage. Level 4 Brute Force no longer causes Loot Horde to display as a crit. Imperious level 10 will combine damage text with Heavenly Host for the Angelic Armament. Junkrat Riptire starts decaying in damage at 1.5 range, but we get the range indicator as it was mentioned above. Leoric uh, Willing Vessel displays now displays as a crit. Fast Feet for Lily adjust color display for the duration indicator. Jug of a Thousand Cups fix an issue that caused jugs to cool down to be increased while in stasis. And Gale Force level 13 fixed an issue that caused Gale Force not properly increase bi uh, blinding wind's duration. Lieutenant Morales, level 13, Bedside Manor, proc bonuses now display as crit. Lunara trait now acts similarity to other heals. Abolish magic, level 13. Fix an issue that caused abolish magic to not reduce the duration of silence, fears, and taunts. Maiev, level 1, Bonds of Justice no longer causes attacks to display as crits when using Umbro Bind. The level 4, Blade Dance, fix an issue that caused Blade Dance to not grant stacks of Vengeful Knives. And the level 10 containment disc removes silence display while time stops. Okay. Organis level 13 blood rush. Fix an issue that caused blood rush to activate from healing fountains and regeneration globe. Globes. Uh, Malthia level 13 shroud of wisdom. Fix an issue that caused shroud of wisdom to not grant spell armor against all sources. Angel of death. Uh, fix an issue that caused angel of death to be affected by spell power modifiers. My uh, May cascade level 20. Fix an issue that caused Cascade's uh, Snow Blinds to blind for less duration than the untalented Snow Blinds. Zebo Zombie Wall Baseline updated zombies to face inside the zombie wall when created. Big quality of life adjustment right there. Everyone, I mean, it was very important. I mean, technically, the zombies were attacking like this, weren't they? <laughs> Fix an issue that caused Annihilating Spirits healing reduction to display floating text multiple times. That's the, yeah, that's the Annihilating Spirit has the healing reduction. Nova, uh, Hollow Decoys will now move towards uncollected experience globes if they are idle. That's actually huge. That's big for Nova players who know how to kind of play as, a uh, play as the Halo Decoys or the Hollow Decoys. Orphea, fix an issue that caused weapons to fire multiple times when used in conjunction with select abilities. 
Level 4 Chaotic Assault. Uh, fixed an issue that caused Chaotic Assault to not apply while Orphea was three stacks of... Uh, well, Orphea has three stacks of Chaos. The Invasive Miasma, level 13. Fixed an issue that caused Invasive Miasma to hit dead heroes. Eldritch Conduit, level 20. Fixed an issue that caused Eldritch Conduit visuals to persist after death. Probius, Disruption Pulse Q. Fixed an issue that caused Disruption Pulse to hit targets uh, hit by previous Disruption Pulses. Photon Barrier, a uh, fixed issue that caused Proton Barrier to display while Probius is dead. And Pylon Overcharge, a uh, fixed issue that caused Pylon Overcharge to not display proper, uh, excuse me, to not properly grant Pylons and vulnerability. Hey, be crazy. Thank you for the redemptions. We'll do it after we get through the patch notes. Good to see you, bud. Uh, Kira, Grappling Hook, Adjust Grappling Hook Guide, and Terrain Indicator to match the cast range. Because uh, Kira can't, can't... <laughs> Grappling hook to her own gates. That totally can't be done. Uh, the fixed issue that caused the hunted to lose stacks when hitting non-hero. It's a level 13 passive. Rainer level 20, Sergeant Pepper trait. Fixed an issue that caused Sergeant Pepper to not properly apply. Uh, selected while at zero stacks of give him, give him, give him some o -O. Give him some o -O. Give him some o -O. Rhaegar, fixed an issue that caused duplicate entries of Death Recap, uh, level 13 Wellspring, fixed an issue that caused Wellspring Beam to not appear when heal uh, when healing occurs. Fixed an issue with Rexar and Misha to not share healing fountain, uh, healing with each other. Samura, level 4, the one with the wind, uh, fixed an issue that caused the one with the wind display a duration while Windwalk is active. Crushing Blows has been, uh, excuse me, excuse me, fixed an issue that caused Crushing Blows to be located in the wrong location of the buff bar. Sergeant Hammer level 16, Giant Killer. A uh, Giant Killer fixed is no longer dealing damage to invulnerable targets. Sonia Fury adjusted the color display of the remaining duration on the button for the trait for Fury. Stitches Digestive Juices, uh, so it's a fixed an issue with damage preview. Stukov level 1 fetid touch. Range attack no longer displays as an empty icon on the death recap. Tassadar level 7, Sonic Echo adjusts the color display of Sonic Echo indicator on Chakra button. The Butcher, fixed an issue that caused Butcher charge to cancel uh, prematurely. Level 13 Cleaver passive can now trigger while blinded. Now heals if the cleave target uh, if the cleave to target has the butcher's brand. And level 20 for Butcher, Fires of Hell, no longer displays an empty icon in the death recap. As we continue, oh my god, like everybody's getting some bug fixes. Thrall, Pharaoh Spirit, fix an issue that caused Pharaoh Spirit to hit invulnerable non-heroes. Uh, you've got uh, Frostwolf Grace trait, no longer dismounts Thrall. Tracer level 20, Composition B, fix an issue that caused Composition B's outer radius to not gain the benefit of Quantum Spike. I, I didn't know this was a talent. Honestly, I never see Composition B. I always see the get stuffed. It's like every every tracer I see get, takes that at level 20. Tyrande Sentinel fixed an issue that caused Sentinel to pierce incorrectly. Okay, we'll see how that, that's actually changed. Uther Holy Radiance displays as a crit when Uther has spell power bonuses. The level 16 Beacon of Light only causes Holy Light to display as a crit when under 50% health. Valera Deep Shadow Duration Indicator will now fill rather than uh, empty. Wait, duration? Deep Shadow Duration Indicator will now fill rather than empty. Okay. Uh, Wound Poison fixed the issue that caused Wound Poison to display floating text multiple times. Vala Multishot fixed an issue that caused Multishot to not apply all hit effects when hitting uh, enemies inside Vala's space. Gloom, level 13, no longer displays an empty icon in the death recap. Varian, level 13, mortal strike. Uh, so it's floating text fix again. White main zeal, fix an issue that caused zeal active uh, visuals to persist after death. Searing lash E, uh, the second strike always displays as a crit. For the Zul, level 20, mortal wounds, fix an issue that caused mortal wounds to display floating text multiple times. Urel, fix an issue that caused uh, abilities causing all players to highlight enemies. Avenging Wrath, uh, fixed an issue. Oh, so there's a visual fix for that. So it is going to get buffed crazily. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's the that's the Aegis of Light. Sorry, that's that's the baseline. Level ten, Ardent Defender increases your self healing when uh, when it prevents damage to her. Zarya, 
baseline. Fix an issue that caused basic attacks to not damage heroes in the cleave area if the primary target dies to the attack. Level 7 Deep Burn. Fix an issue that caused Deep Burn to display the incorrect floating text value. And last but not least, Zul'jin. Fixed an issue that caused duplicate entries of Death Recap and Level 1 Recklessness adjusted position on in the buff bar. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your PTR patch for Heroes of the Storm, April 16th. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me go through all this, be sure to drop a follow here on Twitch. If you're watching over on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe so we can grow the YouTube page. Uh, we do a lot of casting also here on Twitch Live, and we also have a lot of casting on the YouTube side. So be sure to follow here on Twitch, and be sure to like and subscribe over on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.